This is a story called The Little Monsters at Christmas, chapter 101. The little kids are adamant that they are going to save the North Pole. After an elf gets in touch with them from there. All the kids are super excited about Christmas. And all the little ones keep talking about is the presents they'll be getting from Santa. One day they're all out playing when a young boy and a young girl dressed as elves suddenly land suddenly lands in front of them. Where, 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 where did you come from? asked Joanna. We came from the North Pole. We're worried about Santa because he's been quite sad lately. He thinks that no one wants to celebrate Christmas anymore because he hasn't received hardly any letters from the little children. North Pole is home and ours and if we don't do something it will disappear for good. Then we won't have anywhere to live, said the girl elf. Did it? How can we help? asked Freddy. Well, you and your friends can go to the North Pole to see him and you can get some kids to write to him, said the boy elf Napoleon. How are we supposed to get to the North Pole? asked Elsie. We can take you on our flying sleigh, said Diddy. They all climbed onto Diddy and Napoleon's sleigh and went to the North Pole. When they got there, Santa was sat in his big chair looking incredibly sad. The kids went over to him and Brady said to him, Please don't be sad, Santa. Everything will be okay. We'll help you save the North Pole, you'll see. Oh, I don't think so, Freddy. This place is beyond saving, said Santa. Don't talk like that, Santa. Let us help you. I'm sure between us we can save this place, said Erin. No, Erin, my darling, this place is going. None of the little children want the toys I make. They just want the latest mobile phones, laptops and all the other gadgets that's just come out, said Santa. Don't say that, Santa. There's ten of us and we all want toys, not laptops and phones. Our friends feel the same way too, said Joshua. Then Napoleon said, Do you see what we mean? We need to help and save Santa and we need to save the North Pole. If we don't, there'll be no North Pole and that means there'll be no Santa. Then where will we be? We have to do something and fast. We just have to, said Michael. I have an idea, but we have to go back down to Leeds first, said Joshua. Okay, I'll take you, said Diddy. Diddy took them all back to Leeds and when they got there, a group of kids came over to them and one of them said, Where have you been? We've been looking for you. We've been in the North Pole. Two hours, Diddy and Napoleon came down and took us, said Ellen. What? Really? said Louisa. Yes, really, and we need your help. The North Pole's in trouble and Santa's really sad and miserable instead of being happy and jolly, said Joshua. How can we help? asked Alyssa. Then Napoleon Diddy landed and Diddy said, you can help by writing letters to Santa and taking them to him. You can also get some more people to come up to the North Pole. It's falling apart because Santa's been sad and miserable. If we save Santa, then we save the North Pole, said Diddy. I'll help, said Louisa. Count me in, said Alyssa. I'll help too, said George. And me, said Harry. They all wrote their letters and then Diddy and Napoleon took them to the North Pole. When they got there, everyone was dead gloomy and Santa Claus was just sat in his big chair, looking incredibly sad. All the kids went over to him and Louisa said, Santa, please don't be sad. We all love you and we're all, and we've all wrote another letter for you. It's no good, Louisa. I'm finished and so is the North Pole. 
There's nothing anyone can do, said Santa. But Santa, you haven't read our letters. If you do, you might change our minds, said George. I doubt that, but I'll read them anyway, said Santa. Santa read all their letters and then he suddenly got up and said, If you guys want all these toys, I guess I better... Get, I, I guess I better get moving, as they're not going to make themselves. Did it? Napoleon, fetch the rest of the elves and let's get this place back up and running. Would you kids like to help? Oh yes, please, but we have to go home soon. But we'll come back tomorrow, said Joshua. That's fine, said Santa. They all got to work helping Santa and his arms clean up the North Pole and then they helped Santa in his workshop. Then Santa said, Hey guys, it's getting dark so you best get going. Napoleon will take you back. Okay, we'll be back tomorrow to help again, said Kane. Napoleon took them back to work and he said to the kids, I'll pick you up here at 10.30am tomorrow. Please don't tell anyone about any of this because it will ruin the magic of Santa and Christmas and we don't want that to happen. No, we won't tell anyone. They wouldn't believe us anyway, said Ellie. The next day Napoleon picked them all up at 10.30am and took them back to the North Pole. When they got there everyone was already hard at work so the kids joined them. Over the next few days, the kids helped Santa and his elves to get the North Pole and Santa's workshop back to how they should be. When they'd finished, the old jump for joy and said, Yay! We did it! We saved the North Pole and we saved Santa! Everyone could see that Santa was back to his normal, happy and jolly self. He thanked the kids and gave each of them a present each. They told their parents that they bought them with their pocket money and they were none the wiser. End of chapter 101. Hope you like it guys. Remember, if you're watching on YouTube, please feel free to like, share, comment and subscribe. If you're watching on Facebook, please feel free to like, share, comment and to go to my YouTube channel and subscribe. Happy New, Happy New Year guys. Take care of yourselves. Love yous.